Beyonce is white. You are the one I love. Hey, 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 hey. White people always have to be a part. Disrespect Taylor. I run, I run mine. I stand on business. I run mine when it comes to Taylor. What's up? Burger. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Burger Podcast, Black People Theory Podcast, where we talk about being black and loving Jesus. But I think we should change that intro because though we are Christian, it's not like a gospel podcast. And I feel like we have to make sure that we're targeting the right demographic when we first start. Oh, so what you thinking? I think that uh, no clue. But I love that the viewers get to hear that this is an ever-evolving, ever-changing show. And if you want to know my heart, you got to know, like, I love to learn. So I'm never afraid to put out there that I'm learning. I don't know. I never, because I love to learn. You can't be afraid to learn if you love to learn. That's true. I'm Des Burgers. I'm Thomas Salisbury. And he's going to talk in his mic today. <laughs> it, 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 the, the podcast quality is reliant on it. Um, as you guys can see, I have a bass. You do have a bass. Because I would like to perform for us a new song <laughs> okay. that I have. Okay, I was going to we had a bass. Kill my mic. <clears throat> Turn it up. So he asked me to play Happy Birthday, but I can't play that one. So what I did learn was this one. <clears throat> this is a Burger Hour exclusive. Mm-hmm. But you promise not to laugh? I will laugh. Can you fix your face, please? Uh, I'm still learning. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry, it's in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my throat. I'm sorry, bro. A bass player cleared his throat before. <laughs> I was going to sing, too. <laughs> Can I sing when I play? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, anyway. Mary had a little little lamb, little. Sorry, I messed up. Little, <laughs> damn it! I'm sorry. Little, 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 little lamb. I don't know that Mary had a little lamb, and she was white as snow. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know the lyrics. Dad, she was white as snow. Let's <laughs> give it flavor, flames because the natural anthem. <laughs> Uh, happy birthday to you. <laughs> nah, just happy birthday to you. <laughs> Be a guitar center. <laughs> no, no, <we're> not. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> happy. Remember this is the guitar center. They be like. <laughs> they go. <laughs> and they be letting them too. They be letting them. <laughs> Oh my okay. gosh. I was like, remember uh, that time when you was at that church and you was playing, and then bro was not playing them notes at all. Like, you was oh not playing my God. at all, bro. At all. <sighs> I did, that's, there's nothing compared to that one church that I used to play. And bro kept telling me that I was going to be as good as him one day. <laughs> and he played just like that. So you almost as good as me, man. Real talk. I was like, no, sir. No. Don't disrespect me like that. That's it. That was disrespectful. Them fight words. Be anyway, good. what's up, Burger Hour? How y'all been all week? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to an audience. Um, <laughs> Thomas, you didn't even, bro, you didn't even, <laughs> you didn't even write a document. I didn't week, so take the lead. So we finna freestyle with it today. At Monday on the 26th at 6.31 p.m., you type Beyonce is white in the chat. <laughs> so I just, it, before we get into it, there's a habit of just, like, waking up at some point in the day and just, like, gaining consciousness and then just writing <laughs> something <laughs> mad out of the ordinary in the chat. I mean, I'll wake that? up. This is Monday. I'll wake up one day, and he'd be like, it'll be 3 a.m. It was that text you sent me. Bro was like, nephew, hey, bro, I think your little sister school playing you. <laughs> Yeah, the teacher say he can't say homework, but he can definitely say homework. <laughs> and then radio silence for the next seven hours. Yeah, bro. It'd be hitting sometimes. <laughs> hey, I woke up the other day. Never mind, I will sit on a podcast. But anyway, oh um, my gosh. yes. What you have said was was indeed truth. Beyonce is white. So whoever wrote that message, aka me, he was on to something. So Beyonce is dropping a new country album, right? Oh, a whole <laughs> album. Or song, whatever. I was I just saw a song. I'm not a fan. I don't give a dick any dollar. <laughs> prior. Prior. And I wish we would have talked about this topic so we could have, um, you know how people would do like the flashbacks? They'd be like, oh, Ben said that. I wish we could have did this topic a little bit earlier. I said, 
months ago. Beyonce is in skin tonality getting more and more Caucasian as time is going on. Mm. In skin color. In like publicly. She's getting more and more Caucasian. Then this heifer, no disrespect to Jay-Z, this heifer <laughs> turn around and drop a country album. And it'll act like we didn't notice. Negro, you was caramel six months ago. Mm. Look at the pictures. Then I let me tell you when it clicked for me. The Super Bowl. Mm. When she pulled up and she was the same color as Taylor Swift. Why are you talking about that? Bro, why am I the only one that's noticing this? Oh my gosh. What are we why talking? am I only Super Bowl? Beyonce, Super Bowl. Let me see this. She is Taylor Swift's color. Is 2024. 2024. Sorry. 2024. Whoops. Crazy they were in 2024. Bro, bro, look at that. Um, with that Look at this picture. Click that. Click that. Whoa. Bro, with the same hair color and everything. Huh. Beyonce Super Bowl. Just look at Beyonce Super Bowl. Go to the same pictures we just saw before. You don't see no difference? That is gold caramel latte. Yeah. You could even see Beyonce. Beyonce, hold on. Beyonce, no makeup. Dang, she ugly. She looks a lot. <laughs> she looks a lot like Solange. Uh, well, that's her sister, so. Look at this natural picture right there. Look at that natural picture. Look at you see these natural skin colors? Yeah. Does Shana have you seen her new post? Her new posts. Mm -mm. So let's see what she looked like in that country song. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, here, I see a little bit of that chocolate on her. Yeah. Look at that skin color. Look at that skin color. This is weird. Bro, are you serious right now? Look at look at look at the blue ivy. This is weird. So Beyonce is Caucasian. So you know she's been under like hot water before. <clears throat> Bro, even this, mm -hmm. even this difference. <sighs> she to turn Michael Jackson. I got a light skin girl look, look like, like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Got, got a dark skin, skin girl <laughs> look like Michael Jackson. That's her. Wow. So that's my thoughts. I mean, maybe this is the part of the new album rollout. <laughs> no, it is. It's the new album rollout. You know, you got a, a new album sellout eventually. Oh, she Lord. knew she had to appeal. She was like, yeah, wow, I ain't never seen no... Uh, since Lil Nas X, we ain't had no black yeah. country artists. And Lil Nas X had a beat behind no, it. We're not going to start now. And can I'm I, going white. Can I be real, though? The the song was trash. And that I comes like from... It. That comes from somebody who loves country music. Mm -hmm. I love country music. Like, I really know country music. And the song was Dookie Water. It was trash. But the thing is that she also made a house album. Or house music. Yeah. Trash. What's the song? What was the song I'm thinking of? Pop you won't take my no. Is that one? Oh uh, no. Ain't gonna deny. Uh, yeah. That's house music. Uh, uh. Well, she, I think she was trying to like ease you into like the you won't take my soul. Okay. She was trying to get you there, but they was both trash. <laughs> you won't take my soul. Doom, 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 doom. She had the most basic yeah. pluck on there. Yeah. So, and then so I seen a lot of uh, posts about talking about um how music is changing, um, and I agree. Music is changing and it's definitely devolving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like most stuff in the human uh, in the human race, yeah. we're devolving when it comes to music. However, why are we using Beyonce as an example of like our savior, our musical savior? <laughs> they are. Yes. Don't play dumb. I'm thinking they use Taylor Swift as a savior. Taylor Swift is fire. Oh Lord. Disrespect Taylor. Oh Disrespect Lord. Taylor. I I run mine. I stand on business. <laughs> that, I, I run mine when it comes to Taylor. What's I'm up? Just saying, What's I, wrong with Taylor? When I said I liked Andrew Tate and Donald Trump, I was a cool. Taylor Swift is not cool. Please, please, cut it out. What? Cut it out. You're kept you with your words like man is you. Picking on the weaker man. Come. Why you gotta be so mean so and a liar so, and pathetic? So Taylor Swift or Beyonce for you? All day! Like Kanye said in 2012! Are you serious? You're, wait, pause. Please, please cut the cameras. You're taking Beyonce over Taylor Swift. Well, it's a blank space. You said baby. like Kanye in 2012? You talking about when he hopped no, on stage? No, he said all day. Oh. <laughs> 
My bad. <laughs> obscure like <laughs> references. Uh, so you're taking Beyonce over Taylor Swift. I don't know who I'm taking over. Bar for bar. I said okay, I said this. So I will say that no, nah, okay. You said you said <laughs> you'll say so this what, first, what so you can say this first. But <laughs> I would say one good thing. Okay, I would say this because it helps your right, point. You go first. You go first. Uh was that so that she modulated it? And she put up a lot of times. Because I was gonna say party the USA, but that's not her. That's that. Uh, who is the what she modulates a lot? <sighs> bro. Uh, See, never mind. Freak her, bro. Ooh. Is this Beyonce? Is this what song? She goes up a bunch of times in that song. Oh, uh, That's my song. Top. Love, baby, it's you. And she goes, baby, it's you. I be turning that song. I'm like, okay. baby, it's you. You're the one I love. <laughs> I hear that. You. Yeah. That's love on top. Okay. That's all she got for me. Really? I don't even. Bro, she talk about some. I get spiritual, lyrical. Oh, Lord. You finna get spiritual lyrical. Nah, Beyonce said, and she said that she, you know, they try to make stuff up, but she, d- d- her poem, she had a, she recited a poem on her album, mm. written by somebody who publicly practices practices witchcraft, mm. and it said, "I use the pages of the holy book to plug my menstrual, aka, I use the Bible as a tampon." Mm. It's right there on her mm. album on Lemonade. What I've been saying that she ain't got she ain't on my side, mm-hmm. so I don't know what we can't play dumb. She and she ain't been on my side her, or Jay Z. Jay Z disrespect the Bible. I don't know how much. Yeah. Can Jay Z rap? Yeah, but I'm not bumping him. I respect him as a rapper, and that's it. That's all. I'm not consuming nobody that's not on my side, dude. But I'm strong by that. Not a lot of people can't. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might as well be Beyonce fans because y'all fans everybody else. Y'all y'all friends with the world. So you know, mm-hmm. I me I I I will listen to the music to catch that bar. And I'm done. I'm not bumping even Lil Wayne, who I feel like is the greatest rapper of all time. I am not bumping Lil Wayne. Yeah. I'm putting that on to respect uh what the though, where the love go. Five, four, three, two. I let what go pop. I, you know what I'm saying? I bump it was, I'm done. Yeah. Like I'm not I am not just consistently consuming that. Not nothing. Nothing from that from that demographic. So um, yeah, so I I know I'm just more strong when it comes to that, like as far as Beyonce, but yeah, no. I, I love on top is my song. That's it. Dang. I don't like ego. I will say this uh, Taylor Swift, she got some bops. My favorite one of all time from Taylor Swift. Say it. Our song is slamming screen doors, sneaking out. I thought you were going to say Blank Space. You seem nah, like a nah, Blank Space nah, guy. Nah, nah, nah. It's a nah, Blank Space, space, baby. And now I'm right your name. Nah, I'm more right like. To... I'm more like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But I'm much I need to harm with you. like, no, 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 I'm going to move on. I didn't even mean to. But I'm more of like, I'm more. I promise you. He's trying to hit you with you. <laughs> he was like, that already he missed it. Said anyway, hey, nah, nah, nah. I, I love Beyonce actually. Like, <laughs> nah, but let's see. So I'm more of like a, I'm more of like a 2006, 2007 type of Taylor Swift. You know, back in the day. Sla- so uh, what is that? Slam Scream Door. Hold on, bro. So she got, the, uh, she got the new ones, bro. She got Lover, Cruel Summer. You need to calm down. And she got, she got, she got, she got. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god, DJ Stripper. She makes me white girl dance, bro. <laughs> Taylor Swift makes me white girl dance, bro. Yo. You're tripping. I don't know no new Taylor Swift. It's the wildest dreams. Uh-oh. Uh. You don't know that one? No, I know that one. Okay, you don't know uh-oh? uh-uh. It's called You Need to Calm Down. Come on. <laughs> you need to calm down. We're going to get copyright strike, we but are, I do not bro. care, bro. Jesus hold Christ. on, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go to the part. Oh, this is my part. Bro, Taylor Swift, she was the only person at that Super Bowl that I wanted to see. Really? No, I'm capping. I was getting mad when I kept seeing her. I was like, I seen her more than I seen the players. Like, dude, come on, dude. I knew you were trouble. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Taylor Swift is the most selling generation of uh, artists of our generation. Is the what? Most selling artist of our generation. True. She's, and yeah, she's. There's a reason. I'll leave it there. There's a reason. She make bobs. She can make bobs, bro. And Mean is my favorite song. Mm-hmm. Mean is one of my favorite songs of all time. How'd that one go? You, with your, the one I sang. Why you gotta, I mean, why you gotta be so mean Oh. and a liar? Someday, 
I'll be living in a big old city. That's church. And all you're ever going to be is mean. Somebody look at the devil and tell him that you, <laughs> you ain't I nothing. Never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Look your sin in the face and say, we are never, ever, ever get it back together. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We never getting back together. Oh, you can God. preach off a of Taylor Swift album. And you want to talk about some Beyonce. Oh, talk about some Beyonce. What's, what's that song she got? What? Here we be all night in love. Oh, my goodness. And Beyonce sound like she chases something when she be singing. She chases something? Yeah, she sound like when she be singing, she be like... Because, first of all, she got that, like, deeper tone, you know, and I'm not hating on a deep tone. I love a deep tone singer. Like, Brandy got a good deep tone, but she just be sounding like she just, like, trying to catch a frog out by the by the bayou, like, when she be singing. <laughs> like, what's one song? I don't know her lyrics. Name one song that I can say. Yeah. We be all night in love. I want to get you in love. That's what she sound like to oh me. Oh, God. She's a How can I say? <laughs> she sound like a... Oh baby, <laughs> check it rap. I'm gonna get you. Oh, dog, you love. <laughs> That's what she sings like to me. Oh my god, as soon as you played, I heard it. And then, like, I don't know, people people like her singing though. I don't like her tone. Really? I'm... People say I'm a people gonna say I'm a hater though. Yeah. They gonna call me a hater. Then you know you can't critique somebody and, and without being a, well, you can't critique Beyonce or Nicki Minaj without being a hater. <laughs> yeah. Or getting doxxed so or your family like, murdered. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Beyonce is just she's not really hitting it for me. She's not checking those boxes. Mm. She's not checking those boxes of like being a skilled um, singer. Now, will you got to give flowers where flowers is due because we're talking about her. She's probably one of the greatest performers we've ever seen. Yeah, she's good. Like, <laughs> she hit nah, that. she more than good, bro. I'm talking like I had the DVD for Crazy in Love. Yeah. And I watched it all the time. Well, I thought I was gay. <laughs> because, but I was just so fascinated, like, the just the production of it. Mm. And I still am to this day. That is one of the best shows I've ever seen. Crazy in Love. What was that, 2006? Wow. Yes. And that is, I still remember so much of it. I still remember her putting the um, guitar behind her head. I still remember the boom, do, 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 and she came out. Uh, I still remember everything about it. Like, it was one of just, I was just watching it like, that's going to be me one day. Like, so. You know, <laughs> it's <in> a dress. <laughs> it is dress. <laughs> that's so much of a dress with those heels. And it's Jay-Z. I'm like, that's going to be me that's one day. be me one day. Mom was like, oh, God. Oh, Lord. I got it. Oh. She come out there like, listen, this, we wanted a boy. This ain't the boy. <laughs> this ain't it ain't work out like we thought it would. <laughs> but, no, nah, I knew when I, when I seen her, though, I really. And I don't like her singing. So I, I just want to say that I want to reiterate. Like, I'm not hating. I'm going to give props to props to do. And I feel like she's a, a great um, performer. but And even the artist. But, like, her vocals and her music just don't be busting. So Taylor Swift it is. I'm, taking, I'm, a, I'm a Swifty now, bro. I'm taking Rihanna over Taylor. I mean, over Beyonce. Yeah. Bro, you need <laughs> me. Yeah, come on, Beyonce. Yeah, nah, Beyonce didn't step it up. She don't got no bangers that's like really like I could just sing right now. Just oh Drunken Love is the first one I'd just be. Did you just of. say Beyonce don't got classics? I, did I Please. interpret that. Okay, go ahead. Other than Love on Top, go ahead. Ooh. Go ahead. Tell me where we really like talking. Like, oh yeah, Beyonce. What you got? One plus one equals two. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what are we talking about? To Halo. That? Halo. 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 Yeah, Halo. Who was bumping a throwback I'm, Beyonce though? I'm not throwing that on. I'm Who not. was bumping at all? I mean, bro, even 88.1 not bumping the throwback Beyonce. Oh, my gosh. Really? They a throwback Beyonce. She got love on top. What we're going to bump. Just love on top. That's it. Please. I just love she on got, top. They a throwback Beyonce. She has. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're bumping that? I'm not bumping that. But I ain't going to lie. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, 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 under my, um. What? That's Rihanna. I know. Oh, okay. So I'm saying like, that's the same era. Okay, okay, okay. And, but I'm gonna bump that still. I'm even bump uh 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 some Akon. Oh my god. We got to throw back Akon that we could bump. Yeah. We got to throw back Lucas. Throw your hands up. 
up down up there was a DJ Khaled. Mm-hmm. We got throwback from that whole generation. We still bumping that generation of music. Yeah, we're still bumping that generation of music, but we're not bumping Beyonce. Oh lord! I had the yeah. iPod. I had the iPod. Does the the small blue one with the screen, not the Nano, the other one, like yeah. the first iPod, right? Little rectangle. I remember all my playlists that I had. Everybody still can get it except for Beyonce. Everybody still getting play time. Jesus. Even um, I had Mike. Uh, was it his name? Mike Pleasure. Owner? Mike Posner. Mike Posner. What's that song that he had back then? Yeah, it's like I took a bill in the bees or no, uh, the, the other one. Bro, the old one. Uh, I said from the first cooler than me. Cooler than me. No, yeah. please, baby, please don't oh my go. God, really? That's the same era. We're even bumping Mike Posner over Beyonce, bro. But Beyonce just for some reason is the queen of everything in life. That's so we crazy. can't act, we, bro. I am thinking, baby, please don't go over any Beyonce song. Don't demand. Oh, my God. Baby, please don't go. Or I can write you a song to make you fall in love. <laughs> and I already. Hey, so sister. Yeah, come on, dude. Same, same thing. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I'm, but you can't talk about Beyonce. Not so much of Beyonce, though, because we yeah. might get knocked, bro. So what did, what did she have in, like, 2000 and, like, that was, like, 10, 11? That, it was all the ego. It was the, um, it was the, uh. The put a ring on it. Mm-hmm. She just. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Oh, she did have two to the left. Was that? Was that? Um, yeah. Deja vu. Now deja vu. I I can't hate on deja vu because that was the song that got me. That she did the. Um, that this is the song that that. Uh, the sixty back. I remember this. You know that song? Mm-mm. It wasn't popular. That's a beat cut. <laughs> oh, wait. That might be a beat cut. <laughs> that song live? Mm. <sighs> bro, you thought you was at church. But it is that that whole thing is just church, bro. Like the the I y'all gotta watch it, bro. Y'all gotta watch it. The Crazy in Love live DVD, bro. I don't know if you can still find it. We had the actual DVD back there, bro. It was just crazy. Oh, she had if I were a boy. If I were a boy. Yeah. And then so she had oh okay you gotta I'm a, a diva yeah. I'm a, I'm a, a diva so you gotta get rid of that one. She this album had bangers, bro. Like. <clears throat> I just think we gave Beyonce her name because oh, and she got um, party, and then run the world girls. Mm-hmm. Best thing I never had. Nah, comes back around. Ooh. Hey, my baby. So I I'm not gonna hate. Like I I do remember listening to the music. I won't pretend like it wasn't on the radio. However, it's no longer in my playlist. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, bro. Baby, please don't go. If you should have left back tomorrow, would you still be here? I don't. Come on, bro. Bro, every day I'm. Let's get the cookie. Bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, we will play everything but Beyonce. And then I'll, 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 I'll forecast this. The only reason we'll play Beyonce is so we could be like, oh, that's Beyonce. Because that's yeah. just, like, as a DJ, you do that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. oh, you got to play the Beyonce stuff? You're like, yeah, I'll play some Beyonce. Oh, that's Beyonce. Yeah. But, like, we're not really listening to the song. Like, it's like you contractually obligated. Yeah. To. That's like a black like guy where you have to play, uh, uh, what is it? What is it? I forgot. What you is say, it? I look good? No, no, no. The, dance, the dancing one. Oh. I look good. No, 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 Oh, no, no. my mama. The one with, like, Keep the actual shuffle? dance. But, like, the grown-up one. Uh... Oh my God! Why am I can't think of it? Wobble, wobble, wobble! Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, wobble! Yeah, you contractually obligated to that stuff. Yeah, man. yeah. I mean, we dance to wobble though. Mm. Wobble not in the playlist though. Yo, you don't get that? up and dance. I always get up and dance. Yeah, wobble, keep your shuffle, all that stuff. I hit all of them. Now what they don't know is a biker shuffle. You gotta get. I put you on the biker shuffle. Oh I, my! I goodness. got you off camera. You know they okay. can't know about that one. They can't know about that one. <laughs> anyway, bro. We can trade this to the next time. We get off of Caucasian right, Beyonce. All right. All right. So we Kaka- about- Kaka- Kaka- oh, I was going to nah, make a name. It's good. It, off camera. Off camera. <laughs> I'll make another one. So Beyonce's white, and we finna get these white people mad. That's the best transition I got. So Caucasian Beyonce? Here's, here's, here's something that we did. I was watching back our old our old episodes, and Negro what? Was was the was the first thing that we ever came up with where we read the hate comments that came from these clips. 
Uh, I don't even say that no more. Negro what? Negro what? <laughs> I even say that no more. So we gotta bring it back. Negro what? So I bring with elementary kids. I have to watch my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gave me. So we dropped a clip talking about Trump's shoes, right? And it wasn't really even nothing bad. We just oh like, whoa, we, we got comments. We looked at his website. We we looked at the shoes. We was like, you know, we kind of even gave Trump his flowers a little bit. We was like a little bit. Know, them white nice. ones was was okay. Them white ones was okay. You feel me? But. Here come the Trump supporters. And this is why I'm not into politics no more. We because, like, comments, bro. why are y'all writing for him like this? We got the comments, though. We got comments. And this I didn't is, even see them. I put them on. Hold all comments. All, if you if you post a comment and you come back like a day later to see if we responded and it's not there, just know it's, it's not there for a reason. And i never seen it. Hold all. Thomas so, holds, holds them because I say mean words. I, yeah, I hold them all. Uh, if, it's, if it don't align with the with the with the with the vision of the podcast, then I will right, say mean words to you and never use a curse word. All right, so we talked about Trump hustling or whatever, and we had we had some comments. So the first one is from C Martz two eight four six. He says, "Dude needs to hop off the hate train and reason with what is really going on. The mirage that's being sold by sheep in the media are not being honest." Okay, wait, before we get too deep into these comments, because we didn't address this one when we talked about Trump, did you see that they said, uh, the interview that they did, I don't know what news station it was, I'm going to just assume it was a Fox news station, but they said, um, Trump is really targeting the blacks with these shoes, and he's getting the black vote. <laughs> uh, did you see that one? Uh-huh, I see and that one. First of all, I don't like being called the blacks, I, it just bothers me. Blacks is- I hate <laughs> it. And I don't know how we've like how we've just uh, allowed it as a society. Like they really they don't consider that racist. And I'm not yeah. saying like it's straight like riot, get them shut down. That's racist. But like it feels passive aggressive racist to me. Yeah. Like we're the blacks, bro. That's crazy. Like we are Americans as just as much as you are. Yeah, we just have a different skin tone. It's even crazy calling people the whites. Sounds weird. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel comfortable saying, "Oh, the whites over there." That's so why do y'all feel comfortable saying the black? It's crazy, bro. Like they don't consider us Americans, but they want us to be consider ourselves Americans so bad. But anyway, so sidebar from that, uh, <clears throat> they were like, "He's getting the black vote," and he was like, "Cause black people love sneakers, so they're gonna buy his shoes." First of all, that's just not how that works. That's not how that works. That's like being like, "Yo, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna legalize crack." Because <laughs> black people love crack. They love crack. <laughs> they love crack. Yeah, the homeless vote. It's they love crack. Like, <laughs> that's exactly what it's like. It's like, we're going to get the homeless vote. We're going to make food a little bit cheaper. <laughs> like, we're going to open up a restaurant. Because <laughs> the shoe was $400. So he really didn't benefit us anyway. Other than like adding to our collection. And then making them four hundred dollars. So he was like, so what they yeah. were saying was, oh, is that how much for the shoes were? How much were they? It was three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. So four hundred for four hundred dollars. And then they were talking about he sold out, and they were saying um, that anybody who's going to spend four hundred dollars on shoes has some level of a commitment. So there's no way you're going to buy the shoes without wanting to vote. True, and that's that's true. But you didn't cause us to want to vote for you. Yeah. I want to know. Did you think that he? Um, I personally believe that the news just spun that incorrectly. Um, I want to know the thoughts behind. Does Trump believe that we're gonna now vote for him because he dropped shoes? That's funny. I think Trump is a narcissist a little bit. You gotta be. To well, be like not a little level. bit. You have to be. He has yeah, to be. Got to be. Because I mean, he's been indicted and still running yeah. for president. So I, 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 I would want to believe that Trump is like it's maybe a bit far fetched, but like maybe you know we get some more black people and young people on our side. You know, mostly the black. So he, yeah, there's a clip out there at. At one of these rallies, when you know he kind of alluded, like you know, I heard some stuff that when I went to jail, that maybe it got black people on my side because they can relate to being you know uh, offended by the police. I that's what I heard. That's what that's what Trump said. That's what I heard. I don't know. I I, I thought it was funny. That's what I heard. He said that to the crowd, and I was like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is why I have his name blocked. <laughs> by the way, I have his name yeah. blocked from. Like on my on my um offensive words or whatever. On my black <laughs> offensive words. Because stuff like this, that's yeah. insane, bro. Listen, I heard, you know, when I went to jail and um, you know, I got caught with cocaine that I heard <laughs> the black people got on my side because they can relate to being locked up, um, indicted, sitting in front of a judge, putting handcuffs. They can relate yeah. to all of these things. You know what? Maybe a lot of us can, statistically speaking, but we're not running for presidency afterwards. Like, we can't even vote after we got out. We didn't got we yeah. got out and still can't vote. Boy is he's being voted for. This is this is crazy that this is our world that we exist. You know Jesus got to be on the way. I'm telling you, his ways 
He he got the Waze app. It's it's getting closer and closer as time is going on. <laughs> His Google Maps is saying, you know what I'm saying? Destination is 600 feet. He got to be down the street. Yeah. He got to be. But funny. anyway, continue. So Whatever you were saying. Because I'm thinking like... Maybe a little, probably not on his side, but like there, there's some people like, yo, Trump is black. Like black people is going, Trump is so black for this. Trump is black. But I don't think that the same people that's going to get out and vote for you. They're like, yo, Trump is so black for this. I still might vote for Biden for real no, because they who? tripping, but I don't know. Is Biden rerunning? That's what it's looking like right now, but there's a lot of predictions that say he's not oh, going to be the crazy. guy, but I, he's going to be the guy. Unless he, just, he dies. <laughs> like, oh, that's crazy. Unless he right. dies, Biden is going to be the guy because who, who else do they have? You know about Kamala Harris? Nobody liked her. Wait, this is crazy. I smoked weed in Tupac when Tupac was still a baby. Like, what? What, what are you talking about? Wait, you smoked weed in Tupac Biden music. Really still trying to, uh, who else? Again. This is crazy. I, I just don't see who else they have. Like, who else? Who? Hey, bro, you never know. We didn't think Trump was going to make it out, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, um, what were we even talking about before that? Before Biden? I'm just, I just didn't know Biden was going to be run. Yeah. I'm telling you, I did myself all with politics because this is just disappointing. I feel it. We were talking about the black uh, Trump identifying oh, with black people. Bro, you know black people. Not a lot. But you know some black people. Who you think black people was being like, yo, Trump is really black for real? <laughs> that is the aunties that smoke cigarettes and then agree with Cat Williams. <laughs> nah, dip dip not voting for Trump. Uh, they not they not taking Trump's side. Them aunties that agree with Cat Williams will not taking Trump's side, bro. Because who we got? The black okay, nah, that's, yeah, okay. yeah, Cat Williams aunties. Not that. we got Monique aunties, which we did not talk about Monique. We didn't talk about Monique, but it's like, what is there to talk about? What is there to talk about? It's just I don't know. Did, did you you didn't see her son come out? I did see her son come out, but what, what did he say though? He said that she was lying. <laughs> about all of it? About all of it. About oh. everything dealing with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I we, we, we can skip her. I ain't mentioned that. She, went, she, got on, she got on Shaq head. She did she, get on Shaq head. And Shaq responded. Oh, I didn't know he responded. What yeah, did he say? He, he said... So basically, wait, let's preface for people that don't know. So Monique went on Club Shay Shay. Like, got the Cowboy Street, baby. I was like, we got to get on Club Shay Shay. Yeah. We're going to blow up. And uh, 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 Shay Shay... What's, what's my name? Uh, Shannon. Shannon Sharp had asked her about... An opinion that Shaq had, and Shaq basically said uh, that you shouldn't vent to your wife because she'll just use what you said to her mm-hmm. against you, basically. Yeah, he can't so, trust her. He don't yeah. do pillow talk. Uh huh. And so Monique and said, "That's false. How you gonna take advice from somebody who's not even married?" Well, no, that's not what she said. What she said? She said, "Shaq, why would we listen to you, my brother? You don't got no woman." Uh-huh. So then Shaq get back on here and say, "I don't got no woman, Monique. Really, I don't got no woman." And I he said it like either everybody knows Shaq a hoe. Or that Monique know that he he dated somebody on the low, but just it's not public. So I don't know which one of those he meant, but he said it like it was one of those. Like Monique, I got a woman, and then he was like, and and even if I didn't, like the opinion is still valid because I have had one before, and he has been married before. Yeah. So, yeah, that was all of that. <laughs> we, we know uh, whose uh, ex wife is with now. <laughs> she got with a pastor. It must have been that relationship must have been so bad that she was like, I need to. <laughs> I need to turn back. We can't talk about this. We can't talk about this one. We can't talk about this on the podcast. We can't talk about this on the podcast, bro. I'm trying to make, you know what I'm saying? My bad. You just, you, bridges that guy. Why are you doing this? No, he just got, he just got, first of all, he just got good with TD Jake. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dude? Real talk. They don't even know about that yet, bro. Keep it on the law. Keep it on the hot shot. My bad, my bad, my you bad. You didn't take notes, bro. But anyway, at the DL Hooley came out and said that Monique was lying. And the Monique came back out and said, Daddy, fix the camera. Fix the camera, Daddy. Like, that's not her husband. You saw that one? Yeah, I, yeah. I only seen clips. I wasn't even Hard following it. Hard to watch. It did, so whatever. They go here saying that. We wasn't lying. <sighs> we got to read back to these comments, but I just want to know really quickly, who side you on, D.L. Hewley or Monique? <sighs> I, look, man, look, 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 look. I, so far, I'm just, I'm subtly on Monique's side because I just watched the whole interview. Yeah. And she was speaking to me like, like a trustworthy auntie. So, D.L. Hughley just looks, he just look mean. He look like he smokes cigarettes. And <laughs> cigarettes are just the immediate aversion. Immediate aversion if you, if, if you smoke cigarettes for me. Like, I don't yeah. know why. Something went down in my childhood, maybe. But, um, you look I, 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 so, <laughs> I feel like such a sheep, bro. I had to let it go because I was like, oh, I'm on Monique's side. The D.L. Hughley came, I was like, wow, I'm definitely on D.L. side. Here go, Monique responded. <laughs> Monique might, she might have a point. You know, Hughley was back like, oh, this fat pig and that man daddy. And I'm like, oh, God, his joke was funny. I'm on his side now. <laughs> Bro, <what's the> <laughs> uh, ooh, ha, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's how it was for sure. Um, oh, my gosh. I, I I want to take Monique's side. Um, I want just them both to be happy. But you know what? <laughs> Monique sounded the, le- the least bitter. 
Yeah. So I'm feeling like Monique don't got nothing to hide. That means so but true. then when her son came out. Yeah. And her son said, listen, I ain't going to get involved with celebrity stuff. But when it comes to me and mine, she not in my life. She love her other kids, not me. <laughs> the mother boys that she didn't have with that man, that's who she want. She don't want me. And so I'm like, well, that's true. But just, you know what I'm saying? Two things can be true at once. Mm -hmm. So she could still be a bad mom to him, but be a great mom and human to everybody else. Yeah. It's messed up, but it just be like that. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of times, too, where I hear situations where a man left his original <laughs> family to go and start a new one. And it seems like he loves that family way better than he did his first family. Mm -hmm. And I always tell kids who come up to me with that situation, and I say, you know, I think one day you'll grow up and realize that maybe that family is what he needed to go be the man that he needed to be. Mm -hmm. And though he shouldn't have left you, though he had a responsibility, what do you do now? I want to say that my dad was a scenario. He, it's not, though. You know what I'm saying? He's still <laughs> sucky with them. But he probably better, I think. I don't know. Perhaps. Couldn't tell you. Yeah. But if it was that case, then that's something that I could know I could live with. Like, dang, you wouldn't found a new woman and had a new family. That might have been what you needed mm -hmm. in order to be the best man that you can be. Yeah, you got to do that. Uh, let him go if you yeah. love him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that maybe that's what it is. Monique needed to let him go in order to, to move on. And it hurts for a child, but it seemed like he's healing well from it. And he yeah. probably didn't need her no way. Maybe. He probably didn't need her no way. Actually, no, not maybe. 1,000% he didn't. Every, he didn't need nothing from her. There's nothing that he could have given her or she could have given him that he needed. Mm. Dang. I feel like I'm preaching to somebody. Shut There's up. anybody on here tonight. <laughs> no, but for real, though, I feel like that. I remember I just talked to some people who... um. Who have to, who are being raised without a father figure or without a dad, period. And I just always tell them, like, dude, there's nothing that man could have given you that that you needed. Mm. You you needed his genes, but you didn't need him. You didn't need his you needed his genes, but you didn't need his words. You need his genes, but not his teaching. Like, that's what I always say. Like, yeah. I feel like oh, I got so much from my dad. I needed my dad's genes. There's no other man on this earth that I think could have given me better genes. Other then Levi Strauss, mm. he probably could have given me better jeans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't put that, don't take that to the comedy club. <laughs> Do not take that to the comedy club. It's transition for today's sponsor. We got a Levi sponsor? You no, know we, got, we got a Tim Boo sponsor. I'm going to say Tim Boo. Tim Boo. Tim Boo. It's Tim Boo. It's Tim Boo for real? No, it's Timu. You didn't see my video? Which one? I saw it, but I forget. It's Timu, but we're Tim. saying Timu. Timu. We came. That was the conclusion we came to in the comments. We still say Timu. We Timu. like. We don't okay, care. Okay. But anyway, um, you know what I'm saying? Only person that could have given me better jeans, I think, maybe T.B. Jakes, but like, <laughs> it's T.B. Jakes. Yeah. And apparently, he likes boys, so. Apparently. But we ain't not going to talk about that, because you just met him. Or... Well, I'm saying, like, I'm not saying that I, I'm not saying that I believe it, he likes boys. I'm just saying, I'm throwing it out there, like, there's everybody got something. Yeah. And so, even if it's not true, which I don't, I really don't believe the, it's rumors and that's how it is when you're a celebrity yeah. but I just throw out that point to say like he still got stuff that he gonna have to deal with publicly like it's in the public eye you know everybody talking about he gay like bro you gotta deal with something any way you go yeah. so see all that to say like anybody you know who, who was raised without a father like anybody who didn't have one of their parents their mother or their father in their life like that that God didn't shortchange you you know mm -hmm. like God didn't make you miss out on something that you needed you, you got everything that you need Thousand percent. But anyway, back to these comments. Let me see. We got any good ones? There's some simple ones. This is all helpful for you. So you can't see it. How the views do? It was like what? Where are we at right now? Uh, five thousand. Just right now. Five point two thousand. Five thousand views and how many of these comments? Twenty. Like it was a couple. Uh, let me see. That's twenty comments. It looked like, bro. Mm -mm. Oh, this is for one. Oh, video. okay, okay, okay. So two plus these like it's eight, a couple nine whatever. Uh, what is this one? Greatest president ever we had. Race, I can't read. Greatest president we had. Uh, man is making money. Unlike Biden, who just prints money. Well, technically, he is making money. <laughs> they, they both making money. It's crazy. That's right. Like, but one of them is literally doing it. Uh, what is that? Key, key. Oh my God. How do you say that letter? K. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. My allergies been, tripping. Your allergy? My allergies is making me. Bro said allergies. Bro said I can't read that letter because my allergies. No, my me. eyes are like dry. KT Larson 9244 says, love or hate to, him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, you just trying to prepare when we start crying in the middle of the episode. My eyes <laughs> been dry. They gonna eventually just start having to moisten up. So. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. They'll moisten up as we go along. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my, my, love him or hate him. 
best ever, and hopefully is coming back. He's the only president who was not born into politics and did what he said he was going to do instead of talking about it. Just born into money. They can't pay him off. Every, like, every, and my thing is, like, they're writing for this man so, so hard, hard bro. But it's like, bro, nothing, nothing for most people. Nothing he's doing is going to affect you at all, bro. At, bro. at all. At all. I feel like we need to really, um, because I feel like we're in this like limbo of, of generations, I, I would like to take our platform and uh, do something positive with it. I want to translate what's going on in the world for mm-hmm. like Gen Z speak. <laughs> so basically, Trump put out some shoes and he did not PTSO. And we made a video about it, about him not PTSO. Um, and then now they're in the comments just glazing. It just glazing. He's glazing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like oh, Biden, one thing about Biden, like he don't dunk phase, but Trump, he gonna stand on business. So, <laughs> you know, what's gonna happen when you got somebody who don't duck phase, like who stand on business, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it just don't go well. Yeah, write so, that one down. Duck phase. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically what the Luthu are going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Biden said, I ain't no E flat. Trump said, you talking about Lali Lai. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Somebody flashed a skeeter scooter and now we're in war with Iraq. Like, <laughs> that's what oh happened. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a me, unfiltered, says, I can't believe this is really a president. We got a man talking to dead people on stage and turning into a Roomba when he's done. Am I right? Am I right? Bro, we gotta start <laughs> a comedy career with that one, bro. That old, I'm on that air fly food. I'm, <laughs> done, boy. I'm telling you, boy, white people just, they don't got nothing in comedy going for them. Oh my God. White people are just not. Funny. Why people? I I told you this when I went to the uh, the comedy show. You told me. People, you told me. <laughs> you told me. We did a whole video. Yes. Bro, I've been writing on these white people forever, bro. I'm just. I'm writing. being glazy. I'm, j- <laughs> I'm just pause. I'm just talking about my experience. I'm thinking about it. Glazy does sound like a whole pause. I never thought about it like. It is. Yeah, I, unless I'm wrong. Glazing I think it does mean like writing, but... writing yeah. Yeah, but, like, I'm glazing. <laughs> I was glazing. <laughs> Are you proud? <laughs> like, I'm glazing. This isn't really gay. I don't know. I don't know. What you did earlier in the pod, you were like this. <laughs> so I was like... I was thinking Taylor Swift. That was a little different. <laughs> to me! <laughs> yes. But no, nah, bro, I just, uh, no hate, but this is just what I observe in the natural universe. White people are just not good with comedy, bro, at all. Bro, it's a natural universe, like, it's going to be different and heavy. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm hoping. I hear I'm the, praying. Hoping, bro. So I went to this comedy club, and my my girlfriend. Is this the first one? Or this is, is the first okay. one we went. No, no, no. This is the second one we went to. My girlfriend booked the tickets, all right? And she was just like, you know, let's go to a comedy club. Throw that out there. She didn't look. I, I just want to look. Like, I'm not hating, but she picked it. She was like, let's just. It's, it's going to be comedy. We don't just try new things. It's going to be funny. So she booked the whitest comedy show. This is early on in the day. All the, all the good comedians go on at 11. So when I say good comedians, the black ones go on at 11 o'clock, right? So we booked like the 7 o'clock show. There was there was like three com- comedians. There was like the main dude's son bombed. The worst comedian I've ever seen in my life. He's new to it. He was only doing. He admitted he only did it for two months. But I, I hope he was telling the truth and he wasn't just lying because he wasn't laughing. Yeah. Like not even the white people was laughing for real. They was like give just it, giving pity give laughs. Us the joke. One of the jokes he told was like he had a story of his dad meeting. Miley Cyrus on a set of one of his shows, right? And it's at the end, you know, they're talking to the crowd or they're all taking pictures or whatever. And he wanted his son to like, get in a picture. It's like, yo, I'm old and I'm wrinkly and I'm, I don't want to look like a creep. So can you tell Miley Cyrus to come take a picture with me? And it was supposed to be a joke. You think it would lead to a punchline. It's like when imagine like I'm telling you a story sometimes like I'm telling you a story and you think it's gonna end like all big but yeah. it's kinda like <laughs> it, it, it ends with like the phrase like but yeah that happened I kid you not he said yeah and that was uh, that was wild but I thank you guys so much for coming to my dad's show my name is Billy I'll see y'all next time and we was like this was the ending of the, the joke I wish I could I'll see if I could find the, the, the how bit many, how many like was there more than one just that story there was more stories. Like, that oh, was like okay. his big but ending that was joke. That was like ending. the big ending one. And yeah, he came in, you know, I took the picture. So thank you guys so much for <laughs> coming out like, here. In the most literal. I'm right telling you, like, that's one of the. Yeah, and then I just kind of just took the picture and we kind of went on with life. And I just tried to start a comedy career after that. Well, maybe I should do this on stage. It's like, that's how it ended. <laughs> there was this big fat dude who was like, I the just f- imagine taking a picture of Molly Savage. He's like, he's going to hit one day. <laughs> 
This, this is, is going to give you. I'm going to make this big. I'm going to make it big after this one. This clip's going viral on TikTok, bro. So there, he was the least yeah, funny one. He was the least funny one. And then, like, the most funniest one. Well, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to rank him, but there was, like, this fat dude named Kool Aid. And then there's the main dude. All right. So, but that, that was the people, right? Whatever. That doesn't even matter. What's Kool Aid funny? He, yeah, he, like, I don't know. Did you laugh? I did not laugh. Like, wow. I don't know. But. You're I'm drunk enough. I was focusing. I should. I was focusing on the crowd. Okay. The crowd. It was full of white people, like this country, like Henderson type white people. Taylor Swift fans. They. I went. I so I seen. I've seen the contrast. But the, the black people at a comedy show, and then white people at a comedy show. Black people, we sit and we listen to the joke, and we'll <laughs> ah, 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 and but like for the most part, we like, hey, don't don't look over here, bro. Don't look over here. I'm just trying to laugh. Don't look right. over here, clown us. You feel me? But we'll we'll play with it. Like we'll, we'll, we'll laugh you back, at it. You feel boy. me? White people, I think they have like a gene in them that when they see somebody else getting attention, they get jealous and they yes. try to take attention. Yes. So opening the show, the main dude comes out. He introduces his son or while he's talking, right? Hey, guys, welcome. What's up? It's so good to be back in Las Vegas. I love you guys. I love coming to Las Vegas. Out of nowhere, some dude in the crowd goes, the Raiders suck. Didn't say nothing about football, by the way. Oh, I was sorry. Didn't say nothing he about had football. He had on, though. Wow. Wow. Nothing. Welcome, guys. Oh, I'm so glad to make the Raiders suck. <laughs> He's stopping his show because he... What, what What was that? What did you, what did you say? And, and I don't know if he, like, got nervous or something, but he, like, turned to, like, Raiders suck. <laughs> Am I right? He was like, what did you say? He was like, I, um, I, um... Uh, <laughs> 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 the Raiders, I just say the Raiders aren't good sometimes. And this they season play was just not a particularly uh, inviting season for the Raiders staff. Like, yeah, uh, the, the, the stats were just completely bonkers. I just didn't agree with the, the the changing of head coaches and all of that. And he was like, oh, all right. And he just kept going. I'm like, there's just no way. You don't have to deal with this every night. So we had that part. That was the only one for the night. So at some point, in his performance, he like he brings out a guitar, like he's one of those comic comedians, you know, props or whatever, and musician, right? And he was telling us a story about how uh, he he like referenced an old joke where he like played some song called "Free Bird," and all the white people were like, <laughs> like, like it was like they about to play like a million by Little Wayne or something. <laughs> for Free Bird, that was a great translation. <laughs> put it in black, something like that, bro. Like, birds free, like, like <laughs> Free Bird, bro, Free Bird. Like they was like me and Ella was sitting there like it was like. This must be the greatest song in the history of existence. Yeah, it was free falling that Tom Petty. <laughs> you see me there. I got so, so they was uh, uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> he would have it. I'm like, what's this white man? Like, put, it, put it with the guitar up. Uh, uh, he gets to like tell us a story about how like he was at a restaurant one day and he wanted to practice his comedy and there was an opening at this restaurant where they needed somebody to play music, live music or whatever. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna take an opportunity to play. Uh, uh to, to do my comedy in the middle of it. And the dude was like, no, 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 no. You're not going to do no comedy, just music. We want strictly music. I'm paying you just for the music, right? And that was it. That was his whole bit, and that was the whole joke. So I'm, like I said, he referenced that he made a joke about Freebird making this song or whatever. And the crowd was like, play Freebird, play Freebird. And he was like, he's like, no, 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 I, I, no, no, I'm not gonna play Freebird. I'm not gonna play Freebird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this new song. He's like a, a custom song like he made for this show. And for the whole show, like he would be singing. He was singing every time he took a break. Play Freebird next. Play Freebird. I'm like, God, can, can you, can you? But, but play Freebird. I'm not gonna play it. I was like, yo, what is this song? This must have been the funniest <laughs> joke in the history of existence. The best song and the funniest joke. This crazy. They really wanted to say. So, he, I'm still not done yet. So, he doesn't play Freebird, all right? That's not a part of the bit. Uh, he starts playing another song that he played in, like, that, in the in the restaurant that he played at. And he starts playing it, right? And this woman is, like, drunk. Like, she's just, dude, this was plaster, bro. She's singing and, like, dancing to the song in her seat. And she's, like, singing so loud, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like the, at top of her lungs, like loud, bro. And he's playing the guitar. He's peeking over. He's like trying to look at security, but he's still like singing. And just like in the middle of the song, he just couldn't take it. Bro, just snap. He was like, ah, slam the guitar down, ma'am. We're not doing this here. Starts cussing this woman out. You need to shut the f <laughs> the whole row. They're all looking at you awkward. They weren't gonna say anything because they want to be polite. I'm not like that. Get the f out of here or shut the. F I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, yo, oh my 
my God. He's he's going ham on his woman. She sets up for the rest of the show, though. He is, he shuts up for the rest of the show. You know that Caucasian communication is just out of this world. <laughs> I'll tell you, wreck. Because you're not gonna tell no black person something. Yeah. Boy, ooh, ooh. you come out of your drunk and say real quick. I just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, nah, no. Nah. So white people, they just. What I took away from that show was white people, white comedians aren't funny. First right. of all, and second of all, like and second of all, white people just don't know how to sit back. And let the entertainer be the entertainer. So that's what I was gonna say. So white people always have to be a part. Oh my gosh. So what is a Karen? Somebody dealing with something they ain't got no business doing. Karen's yeah. ain't never had a had a reason to be at that grocery store. Mm-mm. They supposed to be getting bread and going home. But they somehow in the milk aisle. See what you do in the milk aisle. The bread is on that side. The milk is over there. Why are you over here in the milk when you're supposed to be getting bread and going home? You go to get the bread and you go out the door, but you get the bread and come back over here to the milk. And I gotta make my way back to the chocolate. Where you at? Back in the chocolate. Now you with the lettuce again. The lettuce right by the bread. <laughs> now you got two loaves of bread because you're like you follow me around the store. Now you like, I think he's stealing, and I am. <laughs> so, but why are you worried about you got why your you bread and left? You went if you got your bread and left, you wouldn't have seen it. Now, now guess what? Since I see that you caught it, I'm gonna put the chocolate back and I'm gonna go get the lettuce and I'm gonna go pay for the lettuce because mm-hmm. I see you was about to see I was stealing. You was like he was about to steal. Yeah, I was. I was. But I caught what you was catching me. Yeah, you. I put, caught you catching me. So now what? You wanted to put a black man in jail. Now you can't do you it. Can't you, you, you can't put a black man in jail. You can't put a black man in jail. I got the food stamp card. We're back up. Just in case, because I knew this. I know this happened. I knew it. I knew it. I know when it's the Albertsons. On on Simmons, uh, that's how that be happening. I got that. I had it the whole time. Let's give it a buck. See, just in case. Anyway, <laughs> worried about my service, dog. But that's white people. <laughs> that's white people. Just they got to be a part. And even with like the, like when they hear a joke, he be like, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Bro, I'm talking about even at church. They be like, they be like, when they be preaching, to, I don't know if this is central. I never, I don't know if this is central or not. But when they be preaching, he's like, because the love of God, that's good. That was so good. And then I hate when they stand up. Oh and my They have God. to like make the way back to their seat. That's the worst thing. Because the walk back to your seat is so awkward that I probably would have done it once and I'll never do it again. It's the equivalent of the walk yeah. back to your seat from after watching your ball. Like when you're bowling, and you go bowl and <laughs> yeah. come back to your seat. That's how long that walk is. When you sit up, you're like, that was so good. That was so good. <laughs> this so your mind good. Here. Like, dude, it's awkward. This ain't church. You got to say, yes. Yes, sir. That's all I need. But when they talk, it's the worst thing. That was, that was a word. You were preaching. <laughs> yeah, that's just white people, though. And I've been at some white comedy shows, too. And it's just, it's the same. Ooh, I'm sorry. Bad for attention. Mm. They just got a different sense of decorum than us. I don't know. Like, we'll act the, but I feel like black people are just funny. And you know what I got to say, though, just to play devil's advocate? Yeah. Is I think that's what it is. Like, we're just more biased because we think they are just be funnier than theirs. Yeah, well, think. <laughs> well, they do, but I'm just saying, and, we, and black people know how to make a good time out of stuff. Yeah. That's, I think, aside from being funnier, we just, we know how to make something fun. For everybody involved. Yeah. Like, you're not going to go to an HBCU show and and have a bad time. Mm-hmm. Now, you might go have a bad time at Mojave because they might be shooting and stabbing. But, like, if you go somewhere, like, with some decorum, like, go to an HBCU show, go to a, even if it's, like, a like a, like a a BSU, like a black college show yeah. or um, <laughs> black student nights, these things that do little, they be putting, like, 12 police cars there, but it's never nothing going down. Mm-hmm. They wanted something to go down so bad. All these black people, we might as well go and get police out here. But it's never nothing going down. You had to go to... Someone, that's where they riot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we seen y'all was short handed. We was like, we was like, hey, half of us that do little, the other half down at Subway. They short handed. They, they busy worried about us. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> y'all all the way down here. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We got this wide open. open. You know what I'm saying? We had DTS today. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so, you don't, you don't at those shows with black people. You don't feel the need to like make your own content. Like bro. you don't need to make your own clips. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the Raiders suck. There was no reason to say no that. at all. You know what I'm saying? We go, we gonna start screaming. If Eventually, let him put on. I look good. Yeah, and we gonna get there. But we gonna scream at something that's like direct to the. Oh, he wild. Boy, ugly. <laughs> boy, you know, you know your mama. You, bro, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah they say. But I just and I feel like when we, I feel like too when we be like at events and then we be um. Never mind what I was saying. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know what I was saying, but I was just thought it would be. 
I just, I'm sorry. See what you gonna say? No, it's because I thought it would be funny if I act like I didn't know what I was saying. It's I was like, I was just oh taking an opportunity for the joke. And the then joke I, and layers. And then I like, actually forgot what I was saying. I was even trying to make the joke and play that. I forgot. You were trying to put layers in the joke, but forget where did I put it. In? <laughs> I was like, which layer was this? It's like, cheese. <laughs> when did cheese get here? But uh, no, I. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I, I, I it, it, yeah. It's <laughs> a shabu, shabu, shabu. It can't do that, Baba. Oh my god! I'm mentioning something about Doolittle. Like when we go to these events, play. I look good, and we'll get there. We're chanting. I was gonna mention something about chanting. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we, we can't just be one sided. We're we're a diverse podcast. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, we're both black, but <laughs> we're, other than that, we're pretty diverse. <laughs> Meet our quota. We're as diverse as uh, you can get. Um, <laughs> But we have to address my least favorite type of black person. What? I feel like when you at a black function, you need to know your place. The funniest person goes in the middle of the circle. Everybody else automatically becomes Ayers. You got to go to the outskirts. If you don't know how to be a proper Ayer, you ruin it for everybody else. Yeah. Why are you trying to be a circler and you know you're an Ayer? Now, there's the main circler. But everybody has like the top four backups mm-hmm. who will come in after to the circle. If you're not top five in the room, you need to stay in air. Mm-hmm. I have thoughts about the A, the A dynamics. Yeah. Okay. You need to learn how to properly say A, A, A. Mm-hmm. Also, if you know you're not front linemen, front linemen need to be the most hype airs. You got to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to be the most hype air in the room. If you're not the most hype, get to the back of the A circle. Mm-hmm. You got to go to the third ring. Get You have to get to the third Black ring. Luster Ayers go to the third ring. Mid, mid Luster Ayers go to the mid So ring. first first level Ayer is going to be the most, they're going to be the backups, the most fun. Mm-hmm. The second layer is going to be for those who have devices. That's going to be for your snap for the, recording, yeah, 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 your yeah, IG yeah. story, mm-hmm. your Facebook lives. Yeah, don't be in the front trying if to you're, get a good clip. Exactly. Why are you first string Ayer? And mm-hmm. and you're trying to you have your phone out. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. You need to be second string air. And then too, if you have the phone, you can't be screaming too loud because yeah. you miss the because your your phone it has an audio limiter, mm-hmm. so you don't hear the dynamics of the room. You need to like a hey, a hey, so we can hear how everybody loud is. Mm-hmm. But if you're hey, a hey, a, we just hear you. You messed it up. We don't know what the beat is. We can't even hear the music. Mm-hmm. So first string air, hypest. This is <gasps> that's the hypest. You know what I'm saying? Them. Second string air, that's your phone. That's your phone. Third string air. That's probably just like you probably the plus ones. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You the cousin out of cousin. You walked past the circle. Was like, what's going on here? Yeah, you know <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and it, I feel like if you and if you automatically become third string air, you're you're gonna stay third string air until we move on to the next circle. Until you can yeah. you you know what I'm saying next circle. Maybe you could try to work your way up. Yeah, become second string air. Put on your Snapchat story. They're like, oh, he got a lot of views. Let's make him maybe move to the first string. See what he can do. Yeah. But I'm saying like if you just naturally end up if you go to first string, you try it. It doesn't work. You naturally end up back in third you gotta string. Gotta go. We gotta stay third string. Get elbow. Stay third string. Mm-hmm. I hate when they try to push up front and they're not. They're not. You're not a first string air. Mm-hmm. Stay in the back. Then I also hate when first ring airs be trying to like to get into the dance circle, but they can't find the right timing. Uh, Just give up. Yeah, that whole <laughs> yeah. You know <what> say hey, <laughs> the beat. And now you messing yeah, it up. You Next, mess it up. Next. Like, dude, now we like it's like oh he keeps coming out. Maybe we should look at him. And then you miss your moment. Yeah. It's like, well, now we looked at you. You had three seconds. You you ah, I forgot. The, I couldn't catch the. No. Nope. You're not Next. your third string. Now you're third, you're third string. Automatically now. demoted. You're not even second string. You're mm-hmm. third string. If you that. mess up as a first string air, you yes. automatically go to third string. So now, so now string. me, I've always been a primary circler. Okay. It, when I've been more extroverted. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, either yeah. I'm third string. Because I don't like people. I'm yeah. probably eighth string at home. <laughs> okay? Not even but there. if I'm there, if I'm at the function, I'm automatically first circler. Okay? Yeah. I'm mid-circle. I'm the, I'm the go-to guy, first person they're going to throw in, everybody pushing me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. biggest concern is when children are at the party. Mm-hmm. Because automatically, if this eight-year-old little girl come out here and do the splits, she get the attention. Mm. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not... Listen, first of all, it's not that I'm offended by the eight-year-old little girl. I just don't like her. Because why are you stealing my attention? Yeah. But let's say all that aside, I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm going to punch her over the head. And then <laughs> we move on. But if it happens again and I, for some reason, can't punch her over the head, mm-hmm. what I don't like is that I'm over here getting it and I see all the flashing lights and then I hear the A, A, A. It's loud. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. It's going to my head. You know, I'm, I am Kanye. Yeah. I'm him. I'm getting it. Right? And yeah. then just for some reason, I still hear the A's, but the flashlights go from my face 
to the where the, where the light go? And I turn around and it's a eight year old little girl tw- doing the splits twerking. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, where did she come from? <laughs> where did, why, why are we condoning this? What is this? I didn't know that. Like, where did she even come from? I feel like once this once I go from being first circular. You got to uh, you got to communicate that to me. Yeah, I feel like I need two weeks notice, yeah. and I need ample transition time. Let me finish out my first circle move. Yeah, because I hate when I'm about to get the, the finish move. My finisher move, you know what my finish move Which is? Way? I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't do it in here. I can do it in real life, but I can't. It's just tight in here. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. But that's my that's my finisher that's move. That's finisher right there. I hate when I start hopping, ha ha ha, and then boom, eight year little girl in this in this place. Mm-hmm. Y'all missed it. Yeah, there so needs to be. Ample. I didn't get. I didn't get any good snap coverage. Mm-hmm. So you might put me on a story, but it was just me hitting this, and that's my intro. But that's my. my that's not my. Yeah, my main circle. Yeah. So that's that's a that's a concern of mine. Yeah. That's a that's always been a concern of mine. So I feel like that needs to be a, a point of, of of change when it comes to the the primary yeah. ayers. No, 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 for sure. You need to, the you first need string to, ayers need to be the first point of contact. Yeah, you need to you as a first string ayer. It's mm-hmm. your and also you need to have a call. Yeah, you need to have a call guy. The the number one person that's like the yeah. number one hype out of all of them. Exactly. That initiates the transition between right. we're moving on to this next right. the eight year old. Right. So it needs to be like you hit your move and then we oh wait 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 wait, wait exactly and you, grab the, and you grab the circular because you know what with this move so show it again. This what? So I'm here. I'm dancing. Hold on. Let's go. So okay. I'm dancing. And show me your move. Okay. Oh, now what you did was freeze. Wait. Try it again. We're going to freeze. So okay. I'm dancing. Uh-huh. And the go. Wait, wait. Freeze. So now what you just did, I might be confused. Like, what? Huh? And now I'm here. You re-included me. Mm-hmm. That's what this hand does. This hand, this hand, it re-includes it me. It re-includes you. It makes me feel like, you know what? I'm not just by myself dancing yeah, yeah, to yeah. me. I'm here with this group. It's a literal. And you can do I'm anything. I'm here by myself getting it. I'm Kanye. No, I'm not. Weird. That's I'm amazing. with the group. It's, I'm covered. It's a physical. I'm protected. <laughs> but a bloody Jesus. It's 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 a literal link to have you it to is. link you back in. To but turn me. But listen, there's so many things we can do from this. Exactly. Even if there's nobody else, we can hit you with a. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Come mm. on. Mm. And then you know what? If all else fails, you know what? Let me just grab you. Let's just rock. Let's yeah, just rock right. at the bare minimum. We can get back to a rock and keep the A energy going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the church say amen. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's just, I have a lot of thoughts. Those are my main thoughts. I feel like we address all of my main thoughts. Um, oh, no. One more thing. <laughs> That there also needs to be a differentiation between me giving away my first circle spot to like my first string A. You know what I'm saying? You're the you're your 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 backup number B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your backup B, whatever. <laughs> backup B. You, you my you my backup B. Yeah. When I come, hey, let me get you in there. You gotta come ready. You got to. And then let's say you do come ready, because you're my backup B. I expect you to come ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my place outside. And I'm gonna be the first string A or whatever. If mm-hmm. I need water, I might I might go fifth string for a little bit, yeah. get some water. But when I come back, I'll come back to first string. Mm-hmm. Don't let me bump through. Yeah, you yeah, know that yeah. I just had y'all hype. For sure, I so. I started this. Okay, y'all crowded around me. Put, give me my place back. Yeah, bro. I'm not fighting for my place again. I, I made this place. Yeah, yeah, this Come on, water came back with you. Okay, I'm back in first string. That's the way that it should be. Mm-hmm. So really, I understand us trying to come to a um, you know, a, a good conflict resolution with the eight year old little girl. But I just have to address my personal point of privilege. Is that like. <laughs> Sorry, I'd have to just my, my oh, personal Lord. point of privilege is that I don't feel like the little girl <laughs> should be out here at all. At all. Because first of all, why is she twerking? Let's give it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Like she's underdeveloped. Not even, you don't even gotta go stream. You don't even gotta go stream with twerking. She's not even dancing good. Right, ex- exactly. She not even You know what I'm saying? It. And I feel like too, at this point, when we're at like a grown people party, like doing a flip is no longer counting as dancing. Yeah. When we were in, in school, if we had a dance battle, whoever could drop it to the splits or do a front cartwheel or whatever, they won the battle. That was dope. Now we're grown. <laughs> yeah, because like when you were a kid, you were capable of doing that. Yeah. We are not None of us of do doing that. So you know so. what? If I come and pop you one of these, hey. I, uh, I, I, I kept my first string A part. I did my part. That's what we did. I'm A, 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 A. So don't try to come. I did. You know what I'm saying? I did my usher. Yeah. Uh, uh. We got usher at home. That's what you said. Got usher at home. <laughs> and I did that. So what you come over here doing car wheels for? Like, bro, I this is not girl. gymnastics. Get you know what I'm saying? So I really think we should eradicate the eight-year-old little girl, period. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I think we should eradicate the eight-year-old girl. <laughs> From the party. Because, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. and I just feel like if we're going to be bringing in secondaries, it needs to be from our first string eighters. Got it. It never needs to be from the, from the random little girl who's going to obviously show me out. Yeah. Just when I at the school had a dance battle, here they come doing flips and they they had the whole little aerial plan. Doom, boom, 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 boom. 
while I'm over here doing my I look good dance. Mm-hmm. That's just embarrassing. Yeah. For those eyes to just literally, this is what it feels like. It's like literally like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. I felt it. I was on my, the middle of my white girl dance. <laughs> and then like I'm like st- I'm still dancing my eyes closed feeling it they yeah. get like they hype they like get louder hey I'm like hey <laughs> they get louder hey <laughs> That's, I love my eyes and it's it's three girls twerking in a circle <laughs> like it's dirty <laughs> it's my old nephew you hear that talk about some knee up my knees don't go that high getting sturdy ah, ah. And they start do dump in the air. I'm like, whoa! This is weird. That sir. Family. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. That. But anyway, I'm glad we broke this down. No, I am too. I'm I had a lot of thoughts, down. and that did keep me up at night, man. <laughs> as much as I want to pretend it didn't, as much as I want to pretend, you know, I was okay. I made it through. Like I didn't. Yeah. I didn't make it through. You know, like I just. <laughs> Sorry. You're good, bro. I just. Let it out. I've been just so used to being a maid circler for so long. Hey. You go from being a maid circler. Mm-hmm. Hey. You go from being a maid circler. Yeah. To the first street game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To the second street. To the third street. Yeah, now you just want to go home. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> no street. <laughs> I got next? you. I got you, bro. Turn some real quick. Let's do it. Turn some. Nobody hit that. I can hit that right now. Yes, bro. Come on. I got you. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Already, Turn on something right now. I got you, bro. I already know what my song is going to be. I got you. Let's close it out with a good one, man. Let's close it out with a bang. I didn't already know what the song is. Are Where you is sure? it? Yeah, go ahead. I'll be hitting that. Whatever you, I believe you're going to be hitting that. Let's go. Come on, Dan. Hey. <laughs> you feel it right now? Are you really? I can do this right now? You can do it right now, Dan. It's a safe space. Oh. Get it. Hey, 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 hey,